that none of the bills do what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to stop online pri piracy and they're supposed to protect intellectual property and neither one of them do that. What they do is they um, suppress uh, user content, they suppress our voices and it puts the burden of monitoring the content onto the business. So different kinds of user generated sites like Twitter, like Facebook, um, other sorts of social networks um, are then burdened to monitor and really censor their users' content and that's not stopping piracy at all. That's just suppressing our freedom. There's a fundamental lack of understanding by the lawmakers for how the internet works and some idea that you can, that the answer is to regulate speech, that the answer is to make like everybody suddenly responsible for what other people are saying. And, and I, I think it's going to stifle companies from, you know, the kind of expression that drives the internet. Both of these bills uh, are extremely you know, dangerous to, to the tech sector, to companies like Reddit, and also to the way the internet works right now. Um, they're, they're very broad, they're very vague, they're technically just ignorant, um, and they you know, are, are really set up uh, uh, for abuse. So they, they would drastically affect our ability to operate a site like Reddit, and especially the ability of you know, um, new, new uh, founders to start up the next Reddit, or the next Facebook, or the next Twitter. I think that what's going on today with the blackouts and some of the other things you're seeing are really, it's, it's gimmicks and it's posturing. And, and the sad thing is it's, it's an effort to distract from the true problem. All into town to sit down and have a day where we're kind of doing everything. If you're someone who has a great idea and wants to put it up on the internet and you play by the rules and you follow the law, this bill will have absolutely no impact on you. This bill is focused on criminal activity, people who hide themselves overseas to avoid U.S. law, and then exploit American workers and American creativity. For our members, we're talking about uh, musicians who are composers, who make their livelihood, who have spent years of their lives um, developing a talent for making compositions, songs, etc. And this income stream that they should have in order to support their livelihoods is, is being literally stolen by the theft on the internet. 